Hi, my name is Mike, and do you have this problem? You have two laptops, whether that's one for work and one for school, or a work laptop and a personal laptop, or if you share a desk with someone and you need to plug everything in simultaneously. For this, you would need a KVM switch. I'm going to be doing this demo with a CKL switch. You can purchase these on Amazon for around $200. You also need two docking stations. I'm going to be doing this demo with a Dell WD19TB docking station. If you're familiar with my other videos, you've probably seen this model of dock before. I've tested this and it does also work with the pluggable brand docking stations. I'll include links to all of these products in the video description. One note on the KVM switch is that they make a bunch of different models. You can get them to support as many as four machines with DisplayPort or HDMI connections. Personally, I recommend the 4K DisplayPort models. I've had some questions from people about how does all of this plug in? So we're going to be looking at all of the physical connections between all of these devices. Behind each laptop, you'll see there is the docking station with its associated power supply. All of these are connected to our power strip back here. Each laptop plugs into its docking station through a USB-C Thunderbolt cable. And you can identify if your laptop has Thunderbolt with the, there's typically a little lightning bolt symbol on the cord on the side of the laptop. If you have Thunderbolt, you want to get all Thunderbolt accessories for the best performance. From the USB-C cable, it goes into the docking station. And from there, the docking station has the power connector, a USB cable, and two display port cables. There's also a pair of audio jacks if you have the old style aux audio jacks which these docks do not use. Each dock is connected identically and those display port cables and USB cables go into the back of the CKL KVM switch and you can see those here there's two display port cables and the one USB cable for each coming off of each dock then here's the second one you also have your two display port output connections this is where it goes to the monitor there's a cord for a remote, which I'll show you in a moment, a power supply connector, and two additional USB cables on the front. These are plugged into the monitors and they activate the additional USB port hubs on each monitor. So you can have some additional USB connections on each monitor. The KVM switch also has the receiver on the front for the wireless keyboard and mouse. Looking at it from another angle, you can see how the output cables and the USB hub cables are connected into the back of the monitor. And then you also have the power cable. So you've got power cable, display port cable, USB cable. Here you can see a couple of those ports that I mentioned as well, which is just handy for plugging in external USB devices such as flash drives or portable external hard drives. And there's a few more. I'm not sure how well it'll show up in this video, but there's a few more on the bottom as well. Going back to this remote I mentioned earlier, you can use this to easily switch between computer 1 and computer 2 by pressing the button in the middle. And 
you can see computer 2 is now active on the screen. And if ever you have a situation where your monitors aren't in the right positions, you can just, as with any normal Windows machine, right click on any blank area of the Windows desktop, select display settings, hit identify, and you can see it's one, two, three in this example. Just hit identify, and if they were in the wrong places, you would just use this settings panel to drag them into the correct positions. I have other videos on this as well, which I will link to in the comments uh, that will provide some more examples of how to use the Windows display settings. And that's pretty much it. You may want to check out my other videos if you have additional questions or feel free to ask any questions in the comments. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out a lot. I do a lot of different types of computer setup and repair videos. I'm going to close with some pictures of different docking station KBM setups. Feel free to take a look at the pictures. Thank you. Have a great day and stay safe out there.